All right, YouTube. So, my 1989 F350 Dually XU haul truck. It's a box truck. Uh, I've been having some starting issues. Sometimes it'll the starter will just spin and not kick over and engage the flywheel. That was going on a little bit, but not to the point that I was worried about it. But now it's uh, once it is engaging. The starter spinning really slow and so I went to a battery place here in town I had them test both my batteries and uh, they were both good and also while I was there I dropped off some scrap batteries that I would picked up uh, in time I'm doing hauling and dump runs and things like that I always set scrap batteries to the side they're worth about eight bucks a piece and so why don't you you know and a lot of people don't understand that and don't know that they don't have that little bit of knowledge so they just want them gone they're just a nuisance to them but they're money to us they have that knowledge and understand value and worth so i'm going to jump underneath this truck after i disconnect the batteries and pull the starter and we're going to go from there all right youtube so i just wanted to get a quick uh, side con side by side comparison this is the starter that I took out and this is the one that I'm putting in this one's by a Geary reduction it was a little bit more but I think it was uh, worth it because I've, I've got my glow plugs overridden and stuff so I think that I probably put a little bit more strain on my starter than other people throughout the day but uh, and it's also if you look at this it gives you way more clearance to install easier to get to, to the bolts and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the truck and uh, we'll give it a crank and see what happens all right YouTube just got the new starter installed hook the batteries back up so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see how this thing starts Sounded different starting, I know that, but it did the job. So I guess I'll just have to get used to that new higher pitch whine, but I guess that's the gear reduction. I will say, just kind of a quick review cost less auto parts really let me down a couple times. They said they had the part in stock yesterday. I went ahead and pulled the starter out of this truck, and they didn't have it in stock. That's not cool. <laughs> so, I mean. Last week, when I was doing the transmission stuff, they had something marked at one price. I went to the register, it rang up at a different price, and then they wanted to split the difference with the marked price and the price they rang up. No, give it to me at the marked price, people. So, just a quick thing. Uh, I ended up paying a little bit more for this starter here locally in town than I could have ordered it online, but I needed it quick, so I went ahead and got it. And, uh, Ended up not giving cost less by a business, but I went to a United Battery. So, until next time, believe in yourselves. Believe that you can do projects like this. You can fix your own vehicle. If your starter goes out, don't just pull out your wallet. Pull out some tools. Believe in yourself. Believe that you can twist a couple, a couple bolts out and you can change a part. So, until next time, keep building shit.